Today, suspended Hillsborough State Attorney Andrew Warren is outlining his legal fight against the governor. And in fact, 8 on your side's Beth Russo is live downtown with the steps he's taking to try to be reinstated. Hi, Beth. Hey, Jack and Avery. So Andrew Warren is going to be holding two updates today to outline this next steps in his legal battle. One will be in Tallahassee. The other will be here in Tampa. Of course, that legal battle is against Governor Ron DeSantis, who suspended him from office earlier this month. Let me be clear. This isn't about what I've done as state attorney. It's just not. Andrew Warren says his suspension from office is illegal. The twice elected state attorney in Hillsborough is vowing to get his job back despite the governor's claims of neglect and incompetence. Andrew Warren has put himself publicly above the law. Earlier this month, former and current Hillsborough law enforcement backed Governor Ron DeSantis's decision, calling Warren soft on crime and accusing him of endangering the public. The governor's suspension of state attorney Warren is not political to me. Andrew Warren is a fraud. But Warren tells aid on your side state reports from the past five years show a significant drop in crime in Hillsboro. He says it's proof of an aggressive approach on violent crime and repeat offenders. Our crime rate has gone down every year since I've been in office. It's down 30%. And in fact, it's lower than some of those surrounding counties where the sheriffs moseyed on into Hillsboro to join the governor at his press conference. And so we're going to watch the next steps in this back and forth unfold this morning. Again, Andrew Warren holding updates. The first is going to be at 9 o'clock this morning in Tallahassee. Then he's going to make his way here to downtown Tampa at the Hyatt, where he will hold another update for this community at 2.30. We'll be there so we can bring you the latest. We're live downtown this morning. Beth Russo, 8 on your side.